Fala galera, beleza? Sejam bem-vindos a mais um vídeo. E no vídeo de hoje é os highlights, são os melhores momentos das partidas profissionais de CS. Caso você curte esse quadro aqui no canal, não se esquece, se inscreve aqui no canal, sua inscrição é muito importante para a evolução do mesmo aqui na plataforma. Seu like mostra para o YouTube que você curte demais esse estilo de conteúdo, fechou? Deixa de enrolação e vamos para o que importa, são os melhores momentos. USP is at a crossfire, Ryko score with his back turn, Lunatic peeking in with the bomb also is going to get dropped, Virtuoso needs to grab it and retreat, rejoin his teammates in a 3 on 5. Sobel coming out from Hutt actually does deal with the Julies to get Oof. a double entry towards A, so Sobel may have just recovered this round for the Poles. That was rather crispy, very well done indeed, plant secured, retake. On and about, flashes into La Fury to start getting in aggression. A little bit of damage done to K Serato as Cello can't seem to land that headshot on the player over at Squeak Dodge. Soibel continuing to goosh down the CT forces. Yuri on 16, Cello and K Serato also getting chipped away. But Soibel has finally fallen with another crispy shot of the USP. Now Sami, all that remains, one versus three. Yuri's so low, but they're going to try and provide covering fire for Cello, who's on the defuse. Most certainly one pick found. K Serato with the dome in, and Fury take the pistol. Well, you can see that that ramp cancel came in pretty quickly after. They can afford to do so. It's a very careful approach from the T-side line who know it's going to be a chance to swing Menta back in their favor, but they're just swinging their way right into Yuri again. 2k with the M4 mow down. is there to pick up Sami. All three players at red will drop and Lunatic gets absolutely nothing with the drop. A lot of impact there from Yuri out into the garage. Players trying to get down in towards Secret. Cross not smoked off completely. They wanted to leave a gap. They wanted to take some fights and it cost them Sobel being hunted down. I'll be surprised if he even gets one more kill. Be number three for the CTs. And we'll get Art at least. I think he heard the second drop down, the second player known about. So Bull doesn't quite connect a shot. K Serato there for the closer. Sangle to then, uh, or it might have even been Eternal Fire to then being the streamer, and then that was kind of it. Didn't see much from him again. I don't have much particular affinity to any of the uh, players on the uh, Furia roster per se. At least not one of the ones that have uh, departed the team. But that's all in the past. In the present, it's easy pickings for the Furia players as X Anonimo will have Very fast plays in. Flash is keeping Cello blind as a bat. Yuri's also going to get picked up a case roll in the back lines. Stands on his lonesome and still gets a 2k. Lunatic and very careful and only pixels away from finding each other. Oh, oh what a shot from Fallen out from heaven with the dig. And now Raikos go in from door and out towards Hut. It's a 5-0. How long does this streak continue? Another quick play through the door. This time into the vent dive though. Yuri's going to mow down two. Drop the bomb with it. Third player did make his way out. Raikos going to get caught, and Sobel has no room to plant the bomb. Furia adjusted so quickly to that dive. Sobel doesn't even find the connection, aiming a slightly too high in through that smoke. Should be no way that he even gets a bomb plant. Art oh, down here at the lower bomb site already. Spam through. Sobel gets knifed. Yeah. Oh, there it is. No. And it, and it makes... Quem aí não curte jogar aquele CS com os amigos, né? Mas chega de jogar sem skins, vem pro CSGO Fest, o site que mais te ajuda a ter sua primeira skin. Entrando pelo link na descrição, você está 100% seguro. Além de resgatar os 10% de bônus com o cupom ALEART, ganha uma caixa de graça e pegue sua primeira skin para o seu inventário. Abraça essa oportunidade agora mesmo e não vacila. to go for it, but the utility set on the CT side is still suppressing. Flashes now make their way forward. Engagement from Vert gets nothing out against K. Serato. Yuri doubles up again. No need for Cello in this exchange, but two versus two. Maybe he can still win the whole damn thing. Only gets the one pick. Raikou so low. Two points of health. Needs the headshot on R, who's toying with him. Playing with position, but still. Vert coming through from main. Another quick A-pop. Cello forced to utilize the smoke against the incendiary. Coming down, Fallen and Yuri get a couple of kills. Utility sent in, have suppressed the T side. Sami does get one kill before he drops. Raiko still watching for the next. The AWP firing. Yuri engages. Sobel turns it into a one versus one. Fall on the bomb site. Can't get a quick scope to get. And Cello aggressed into the ramp entrance. Raiko expecting it. Does get away with a one for one. Lunatic's casualty. But Cello is still there to drop the bomb. Oh, this is all getting out of control. Sobel's getting lobby crunch. Yuri out here towards Hut. This could be the most important kill, but he gets falls back on a timing. And now for Cello, he needs more help around this bomb towards ramp. And that's where Fallen's rotating over. Crossfire to hold on to the key important device, and it's not going to happen. 2k for Cello, Fallen to slow it down. 
Fallen frags first, so we will first to fall. Advantage, as you would expect here for the CT side, and the follow-ups are good. A wall-bang headshot from Cello, I think, yeah, just caught at the edge of the uh, door frame there, a hut. But it's all formalities here, it feels like not much being done by the T side. A pick does come through on Caserato. The M4 of Ryko doesn't do much, almost kind of expect it from them. Aggression is coming in, at least from the T side, Vert. Made his way out ahead of hell. Same he's fallen in the meantime, so the opening frag is still here with Furia. Yeah, strike a bit too early. Oh, AWP actually comes through with a leg shot. Very good turnaround there from Ramp from Fallen. Exonomo have got a lot of space. It just depends on what they're able to achieve off of the back of it. Caserato with the timing could catch Lunatic. He's made noise. He certainly has the info towards him. Can't turn back towards the site. You get the kill on the next player. Vert struck again. Sobel gets Art next. Advantage now for the T side. Now full. AK swapped out to, they're well aware of where Caserato is making a ton of noise with this. Burst fire of that AK, Raiko struggles to get the kill, but Fallen's fallen anyway. And Raiko can finally do get his the frags as appropriate. They're going to draw attention towards the outside. A number of players rotating away from that ramp position, which could be a chance to strike in a backstab. At least they've got the opening kill. As Art goes down, Yuri finds the responsive, looks back in against Raiko, who can get that one tray, but it's still a three on three. Make that two as Cello strikes, slow defending downstairs. One headshot, second one is required. He's almost out of ammo, but he connects the one. Quickly in position with the default, it's going to be heavy. Ramp control, Sobel pressing on, kills off the first, goes go down, Raiko traded back, hey, Serato with two Virtuoso gets involved in a two versus two, and Cello can set up towards the squeaky door, footsteps to the left as well. Vert can contest the outside alongside Raiko's M4 with a crossfire, 5 7 does some damage, sets up a decent kill, but Art swings out, two versus two, make it one, Sammy in the backside, his orb frag, and now a fallen. All alone, bomb on his back, swings in, gets his kill. No idea of the second player, Sobel can still strike from heaven, and that's exactly what he does. It takes some time to get set up here for Exxon Lomo. Yeah, there's still so many players towards that top site that need to start maneuvering down. Sobel gets caught, but still gets the frag. Alongside Lunatic's pick makes it a four on three. Lunatic still upstairs though, dealing with Fallen, or at least trying to do so. He's drawn away from the retake, but so is one more T-side player. Caserato gets his man. Now they have info on the second, but Cello out in obs, dealt with to a two versus two. Time's ticking. The bomb's in the open, but same he's caught an orb pick. Fallen has an open door, an open plant, a kill found on the orb regardless, but they haven't got time. They took too long, and Furia find ten. Still loads of time to play with here for Furia though. Gonna reposition, get ready for the hit. Flashbang turned away from Lunatic, still gets caught by it. Cello's gonna burn significantly, but still hold himself and his team a man advantage. The CTs are here on Masto. Samey up top. Raiko gets a kill. Caserato finds the only headshot angle plausible to him, but Sobel still finds a pick back. Raiko's not done on the center of the site. The advantage stays with Anonimo here. Now both of the T's have to try and work out from this door control. Raiko swings open out there from the closed vent and ducks right back in. 1v3. Oh, he knows the wall bangs will connect some damage, but the concern is less about him and more about the other two. Yuri. 30 seconds and he slow walks his way through the hut position, the AK. Wrap in the corner, finally finishing off Raiko. 20 seconds. Needs to get Vert, needs to get Sobel, but Sobel hears the reload, catches him on the jump fake. Yeah, Sobel well aware of what's going on. They have to cancel that lower play. Samey gets one of those kills out towards Ramp. Looking to keep refighting. Lunatic deals with Art. And now Ram's been taken, but with casualties. A five on three situation. And the B site bolstered by its central defensive. Samey can provide support from the held position. Sobel's a little bit far out in the open. Now seeing where Fallen is. Takes his head clean off his shoulders. And now looks for Yuri next to try and do the same thing. Unsuccessful in that regard. But that is still a three for one trade for Exonomo. And they need more. Well, Yuri is extending to try and put his AK into another pick. He's top fragger in the server right now. Lunatic gets caught for it. Advantage. Whittled down by one. Still up here for X Anonymo. As the bomb gets planted, they have to go in for the retake. Now, this is starting to work now. Caserado hearing that first. Has he heard Vert out from ramp? Can they come over that two are coming for ramp for sure? Wherever at least the first player. Now here's the second. Vert. Giving away the info, Yuri might turn his attention towards this. Ferg gets the headshot in, the AK needs an ace. 
versus three. Vert is caught. That's one man down. Head of the double doors. Raikou peeks. Goes falling. 1v1's isolated. The bomb gets tapped. Samey, he has no kit. He has no time. He has no round. And Yuri doesn't quite get what he wants. But it won't matter here. It's match point for Furia. What a sequence. That's a 2v4, Jay. And it... Furia closing in on the win as they play the upper site one more time. Lunatic tries to hold his own but could only last for so long. Similar story for Sami and Virtuoso. Backstab of Raiko. Got to play this to perfection. Got to get at least these three kills. Jello gets blocked. Oh, also goes down. He adjusts towards Yuri as well. Doing so much damage. Oh, he's caught a triple. Is he going to be the saviour? Or ex not done? He's got the bomb and everything fallen. Oh, he's cut to pieces. Already Raikou's gone down though. Fast plays again. Cello catches the opener. One man downstairs. K Serato as he slipped by. He has to try and multi and drop that bomb if he can. Galil spray. Cello gets his pick in. Five on three now. Furia on the half invest may still take control of this matchup. Shot missed from Sami. Baited. Second one also misses. Art takes him aback. It's two players left. And Keserato can strike on Sobel. He has no idea. He's there at Old Toxic. Art can pick up the frag. And all the effort, all the survival, everything X and Onimo had to keep themselves alive in the late game has all gone to waste as Furia will take this 13-10 and move to the lower bracket decider. And Cello has been really impressive in this second half for opening kills, for getting 5v4s. We saw it in that round where he got a triple entry. We've seen it in this round. Not working with a massive amount. He was the first player to get that kill on A. The Lunatic's going to try his absolute best, but players all around, Furia close. And for X and Onimo, I mean, while they provided quite an entertaining second half, it comes down to that first half.